Hi, Gina is 3 lab with Ether channels. They're trying to show you what can happen if you misconfigure a channel. I've got two Cisco switches, well it's a router with a switch module, and router 4, which is our host. Okay, no configuration under these uh, devices at the moment. But I can show you port uh, here. To Dots. So three and four. They are directly connected. Okay, and uh, we'll connect with the four uh, to this module as well. Okay, so we'll take a cable manual. This is port fifteen connected to F zero. Okay, this device will be our host. Uh, right. Okay, so let's start on router one. Okay, show IP interface brief. Okay, we can see our ports three and four. They're up. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to first of all create some VLANs. Okay, this is an old way of doing it so to modern modern Cisco switches we type VLAN 7 in global configuration mode um, because this is a switch module we'll use a VLAN database okay so we type VLAN database and then we can create let's say we create VLAN 2 and VLAN 3 Okay, and there are some VLANs already in so VLAN switch, yeah it's VLAN 11, so let's keep VLAN 11, so sometimes GNS3 is not happy to create more VLANs, so that's fine, let's use VLAN 11, okay, I will just double check, I can create, show VLAN switch, no VLANs here, VLAN database, VLAN 11, exit, apply, good, show VLAN switch, so we've got two VLANs that's more than enough to show what I want, okay, so, close this one, right, so we're back on router 1, we are going to create interface port channel, that's our ether channel, 1. And here we type switch port mode trunk, switch port trunk allowed VLAN uh, 1, 11. It will probably complain, and I have to add all default VLANs. So That'll do. Okay. Do show run interface PO1. Okay, so under our Ethernet Ether channel uh, interface we've got switchboard mode trunk and uh, switchboard trunk allowed VLAN. Okay. Uh, what we will do we'll assign an IP address. 1.1.1.1 Just make the interface brief. Put our port channel, which is down at the moment because it's not configured on the other end, and VLAN 1, which is up and up, okay, because there is a trunk here. Yeah? Show interface trunk. Uh, yeah, we do not show because this port channel is down. That's fine. Okay, so router 2.
piernas Channel is turned down. Why? Well, because we have not uh, assigned any port to this uh, port channel interface. Okay, so that is that looks good. Let's show VLAN switch. Make sure that our VLAN 11 is in place and the rest. Okay, so we go back to root one. Type interface range F13. And uh, to show um, interface here one, we'll copy everything here for the first time. Later on, we can apply everything on the port channel. And we ch type channel group number, which is one, no case, mode, and here it's only on. Okay. As you can see, these two ports join port channel 1. Okay. Show run interface F13. Copy that. Go under. Go to port return. Interface range. 3, 4. Cisco spaces. Okay, that should bring our port channel up. Show IP interface brief include PO. Okay, our ether channel is up. Our favorite command is show ether channel summary, which will and that's what we are interested in. Make sure that our uh, ports are in port channel here. They should not be suspended, it means something was wrong. They should not be down or anything uh, strange here. Okay, so we should see PP. Okay. Looks good. Now, uh, by the way, we should be able to ping. Okay, we can ping uh, router 1, or switch 1. Now on this guy, that would be pretty simple. First we've got... Let's make sure you can see that. Okay. Uh, so here I will go under F00. IP address 1.1.1.3. down here so um, interface F115 project engine is 3 sometimes you have to hard code the port interface mm. 
to make sure that your link is stable. Okay, so when I go to router 4, I can ping across this track. This router 1 is 1.1.1.1. One .1 .1 .1. Okay, so what I will do, I will ping 1.1.1.1. One .1 .1 .1. Okay, and I will say repeat okay so i will keep pinging okay now i want to show you what will happen if you uh, if you misconfigure your ports uh, your ether channel and your members so i will go under so that is stay in the background so you can so i've got root one Now, what I will do, I will create a template. But instead of using a PO interface, it's a channel, by mistake, I will paste it under my members. Okay, so let's say I will do interface F13, I, I will type switch port trunk allowed VLAN add. Okay, and I will do the same for the form. I will take it, paste it, press OK, and take a look. I have just killed my link. Okay, why? Well, that is message. Okay, the router has complained. Well, uh, my members. I've got something else uh, comparing to PO1 and that is suspended. Okay, so you should not really paste anything under your interfaces, you should always do it under your PO interface. Let's try and fix it. Show run interface PO1. That's what we want to have. So let's use interface range F13 paste it, that should bring it up should be able to ping again come on Now, 
let's say you want to add something so we type interface port channel 1 switch port trunk how it be an add remember about add because if you don't it will replace everything and then I can say VLAN 19 ok take a look I can still ping that's fine why? show run interface PO1 is VLAN 19 here show run interface F13 VLAN 19 is here because it will copy everything to its member thank you very much